Before you get started on property investing, it's important that you realise the true power of your income. On payday, the approach for most people is this. Bring home your wages, put aside what you need for compulsory spending, put aside what you need for the mortgage and other loans, spend or save the balance. There are a few problems with this approach. Firstly, very few people actually put away enough income for the accrual of quarterly expenses. Secondly, few people really know where the money goes. And third, the money is taken from their hands immediately, meaning that they've not had the ability to use it more effectively. We've been taught to allocate our funds when we receive them and then to save any left over. The problem here is that few people ever really have any left over. There will always be something to spend that money on. Last week I got $200 from the automatic teller with the intention of giving my husband $100. We try hard not to carry much cash, so I only ever draw small amounts. I had my girls with me and we were at the shopping centre. I had a little left when we got home and it was difficult to work out where the rest of the money had really gone. To get ahead, you must realise that this approach is backward. Your income can be worth far more to you than the actual dollar value that it represents when you receive it. I discovered a long time ago that I could actually use my money to offset the interest I was incurring on my loans while I got the very bank charging me that interest to lend me more money for free and for a short period of time to pay the bills. The day I discovered this, I was not only overwhelmed with how clever I was, but mortified that it had taken me so long to think of it. To plan effectively for our future, we must first earn our income, then put all of it aside, sitting in offset against our mortgage if we have one, use someone else's money via a credit card to meet expenses and only ever draw back on 90% of the income. This will achieve two things. 10% will remain uncommitted and therefore put aside for investing and the income, while it's sitting in offset, will save that little bit extra on your mortgage. This effect will snowball and the mortgage will be finalised earlier, leaving you in a position to invest sooner. In life, people never plan to fail, but if you reach retirement with insufficient income, it'll be because you failed to plan. Planning starts now and includes being smarter at what you do than the guy next door. Becoming financially secure doesn't mean working harder. I have many friends who put in 100 hour weeks and work harder than anyone I know, and yet they still struggle financially. This is because they're not using the income they do have in the most efficient way and they're allowing themselves to be taken advantage of at every turn. So stop wishing you earned more, stop blaming everyone else and start working smarter to make the income that you do earn work for you instead of you working for it. Hi there, I'm Margaret Lomas. If you're a seasoned property investor, you probably already own a few properties, so you're likely busier than ever before. Why not let destiny help you in the same way that we've already helped many investors with large portfolios by using Property Match to add properties which fit into that portfolio and address common issues that bigger portfolios can bring. Head to mypropertymatch.com.au to find out more or give us a call on 1300 My Destiny. Thank you.